All right, we are in the desert of New Mexico. Turning off to go to Carlsbad. Cool right beans. Of course, uh, you're going to have some cool touristy spots as you head towards the caverns. The destination is on your left, Carlsbad Caverns National Park. All right. Australian Siri, she's always interrupting. Australian, yep, Australian Siri is always talking, talking. Got this cool uh, Pueblo adobe architecture. Yeah. All over here. Those look like little cabins. I don't think they're in use though. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Anyway, uh, I always like to show everybody what it looks like when you approach or arrive at a place, so that's what we're doing now. Uh, looks like the entrance to the caverns are they're right here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Except uh, the destination is on your left. Uh, <laughs> this is not the way in. <laughs> I was getting Try excited again. there. Try again. It's Just, really pretty here, isn't it? It is. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Siri, Australian Siri says we've arrived, so we, we she must says have we've arrived. Ar she says we've arrived, but uh, we're not quite there. <laughs> we've got about five miles of driving through this terrain. Uh, it's really uh, beautiful. It is beautiful. Very much desert. All the cactus everywhere. It's gorgeous. Wouldn't that be cacti? Cacti, maybe. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold you on! scared me, what? Holy shit! Oh, I didn't even see them until you pointed them out and there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there's like a whole herd of them and they're not even scared. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah, they're just sitting here. Usually we come... How do you got somebody coming toward you? Are you on your side? Yeah, usually you... Like, when we come across a deer, they just run off really quick. But these guys are just, uh... Look at them, they're just hanging out here. They're not scared of us at all, are they? Look at him. Man, if we had some food, I'd totally give it to him, even though that's probably against all kinds of rules. But like you said, they're not afraid, so I, I guess people, it seems yeah. like people would have been doing this for years. Yeah, they're not afraid at all. I guess they're used to people. So those wow. are like rams, right? Yeah, there's some kind of rams. Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. I just happened you were, to turn the camera on too, right then. You were like, you're like hitting on the brakes. You scared me for a second. I know. That was wow. Luckily, there's not a lot of traffic here. Because their colors blend right into the back to the background, you know. Yeah. So that was awesome. <laughs> well, we're climbing up a pretty steep hill now. Looks like we're uh, heading to the top of these mountains here. Give you a little view of the side. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Man, you see this and you realize that uh, overpopulation is not really going to be an issue well, anytime you soon. I would totally live down there. Yeah, that's awesome. Another view as we continue to climb. Wow, that's it's just breathtaking. Looks like uh, should be getting close. Like we're up on the top of these mountains now. Really windy road. It'll show you it on the map here. See the road is just winding all kinds of ways through the uh, desert here. Is it, wind is it windy or is it windy? It's winding. We are uh, we're at the top now the top of these hills slash mountains and yeah, we're almost there all right we're still approaching the entrance to the caverns but uh, wow look at this we're way up here Flagger ahead. <laughs> yeah how beautiful that is we're way up here Isn't that cool get a good view for you uh... for the people at home <laughs> yeah. Look at that. See for miles. Anyway, uh, this is the complex it looks like, the entrance. Uh, here we go. We'll 
we'll be walking into the caverns shortly. All right, we have arrived. Look at that view. I'm waiting on Wifey to get herself out of the car. That always takes like five minutes. All right, we are at the sign. Signifying that this is Carlsbad and we're entering now. Wifey's there ahead of me. I want everybody to see what it looks like exactly when you come here. I want you to feel like that you have been here. So here we go. Of course, we're in December, so it's going to be quiet. Yeah, it's not a lot of people here, which is pretty cool. All right. Well, I got to show them uh, you have to reserve reserve the spot and you have to show, them, show the reservation on the phone. So that's what we're going to do now. All right. We have gotten our tickets. And we are heading in. We've got maps so we don't get lost. Oh, leave it to me. I'll be able to get lost even with a map in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Let's head out. All right, so they've got like a little mini museum. Explains to you that this area was at one time underwater. And the caverns were underwater. Uh, a coral reef. So now we are going to the main entrance. We come back outside. This is the way. Isn't that right, honey? Oh, apparently so. Wonder what all that is there. Looks like housing, maybe. Maybe the rangers, people like that, live here. I don't know. Hmm. Sure Interesting. Oh, anyway. Like it a little bit of snow on the ground. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a little it. tiny bit of snow. It's not cold at all, all either. By itself. Yeah. Should have melted by now because it's like what's the, what's the temperature outside probably 50s uh, 60s anyway all right we're gonna head this way all right we have our wireless mics on so now you'll be able to hear Nicole <laughs> and me together and uh, we are making our way to the cavern entrance look at all this beautiful desert terrain Ah, it's gorgeous. The cacti, or is it cactus? Well, a singular is definitely a cactus, but plural, I don't know if it's cactuses or cacti. 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 Anyway, bonsai. It is beautiful. It sounds like bonsai, cacti. Very beautiful. Anyway, okay. So, uh, entrance next. We had a park ranger explain to us the things we can and can't do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little info about this place. Did you know it is one of the 49 World Heritage Sites. I did know because you told me that the other day. <laughs> well, you're supposed to pretend like you didn't know. Anyway, <laughs> yes, it's one of the 49 World Heritage Sites. Like the Great Wall of China's one. Uh, well, when are we seeing it? We're gonna see it. And uh, the first time these were explored, it was by a 15-year-old kid. His name was Jim White. Wow. And he just took a ladder and a, and, uh, a ladder and what do you call it, a, like a gas lamp, and started exploring it. And How long ago was that? It was around, I want to say it's just before the 1900s, late 1800s. Oh, okay. And he named all these rooms, and uh, that's still named that to this day. Uh, all the names that he gave it back then. The caverns, the different caverns, uh -huh. they still use those names. So, oh, cool. Oh, this oh, is like look a at big, this. This is like a big amphitheater. Yeah, this, I believe this is where the bats come out. Oh, But yeah. this time of year they don't, so we're going to miss that. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, I just can't get over how beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. well, I thought you saw it like 40-some years ago. Yeah, I don't remember. 46 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, I was here when I was a kid. It's the last time. Look at all this. I don't remember all this cactus and uh, the way everything grows on the rocks here. Ooh, there it is, the entrance. Wow. Look at that, huh? Say it again now. We're going to be descending 75 stories when we, that's how far down we'll be once we get to the great room. Wow. It's kind of funny that they measure it that way, stories, but. Well, I think it's supposed to help you envision it. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah. 
It's supposed to make it relatable, I suppose. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. We haven't even got in yet, and I'm already Yeah, wowed. it's cool looking. Look at that. Can oh, yeah, imagine, I told... Can you imagine being that kid, and you're just walking around, and all of a sudden you see this? Well, I'm sure he didn't see you walkways. <laughs> yeah, he didn't see the walkway, but... <laughs> it's incredible. If I was out here by myself, it would totally freak me <laughs> out. It would totally freak me out. If this wasn't a huge tourist attraction now. Coming across this. Wow. So there's where we've just came from. <laughs> there's where we are going. We're even deeper. Losing the light. I'm seeing lights now, I'm glad, because I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little creeped out. <laughs> oh, little are, you, are you afraid? Yeah, I was getting Joseph a little scared. Free. Don't worry, I'll hold your hand. But there's some lights here. We're getting deeper into the cave. This area here is deeper. where the Brazilian free-tailed bats roost. Well, they're a long ways from home. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't think they're here anyway, they, this yeah. time of year. But that's where uh, they are. That's where they roost. And look, look, there's stalactites and stalagmites. Yep, starting to see some cool stuff. This might be the best time of year to come here, I'm thinking, because uh, there is no one here. We're in this big cave. I know, you're kind of you're creeped out because we're the only ones here, but I think it's cool that we're the only ones it, here. It is cool, because there's not crowds here. Kind of got the place to ourselves. It's a little bit creepy, we're in this huge area, and we're the only ones. I think the I like the stalactites more, because the stalactites are the ones that come from up top, mm -hmm. and the stalagmites come from the bottom. So far, like, the stalactites yeah. coming from the top, those seem to be, I don't know, more magnificent, I guess. Well, we're going to see a lot more. Yes, 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 I'm sure. But this is the first time I've actually seen them, instead of just looking at them in a book in school. <laughs> so here's the last spot where we will be able to see the entrance and the light from outside. Well, you're just guessing that. You don't know for certain. Yeah, we're heading down in here. It's into the depths. Into the depths below. So that area that we were just at where you could still see a little bit of the light from outside is called the twilight zone. Mm -hmm. The area of the cavern dimly lit by natural light. Yeah, so ahead of us is the dark zone where no light penetrates. Cave swallows, ring tail cats, moths, millipedes use caves for shelter to found on the outside world for survival. Oh, look, it says ring tail cats are the cutest mammals you've never seen <laughs> as yeah. they're active at night. It, it is, is cute, cute but, you're, yeah. but we're never going to see it. Well, we might see one. Who knows? Maybe oh, we're lucky. That's not according to the sign. <laughs> so they keep this area as dark as possible. And we are entering it. Oh. So it looks really cool, huh? Yes, yes, it does. We got a little bit of light here. We're still in the... Uh... Hey, look, look. Mm -hmm. Doesn't some of this, it almost looks like a molar. Yeah. You see it? Mm-hmm. Looks like a molar. Those are some big molars. <laughs> yeah, it is. Whoa, what's this up here? It was in the dark. It looks like a... Oh, we can see way down. We're, gonna, we're fixing to go down even farther, much farther. It is a hardcore drop off here. I'm going down, Look at that. down, down, down. Unreal. See? We're in this huge room. Oh, this here? Yeah, this is... Right there in the middle of the frame. You right? see, that looks like a human head. Yes, some kind of huge statue head, you oh. know? And it reminds me of the never-ending story, those big rock heads. <laughs> but, but I know that's a really, really, really old movie. Probably not everybody has seen it, but... Uh, yeah, it reminds me of a never-ending story. They had these big rock statues, but they would talk, too. Remember his nose was falling off at one point? Yeah. He looks more like Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, me. because one of the eyes is messed up. Like the right eye is, hmm? it kind of looks winked or it kind of looks just messed up. I don't know. 
Okay. Record breaker, weighing about 200,000 tons, Iceberg Rock is the largest piece of ceiling called Breakdown to fall in Carlsbad Cavern. Don't worry, falling rock is unlikely to occur again. Roof collapse is natural process of cave development. Eventually stops when ceiling reaches an arch shape like a bridge. It supports the weight of rock above. So if we look up in the ceiling. You're supposed to see a fissure. Yeah, now this is the rock right there that fell. Oh, okay. Right here in front of us. Yeah, uh, where's the fissure? Oh, it's I up mean, there, you see it? I mean, I can see a couple of lines up there. I don't know which one is I think it's one. that one right there. I'm looking at it. That staircase there is what they used, or people used to come down here in early to mid 1900s. Before they built these paths. Until 1932. Yeah. That's when they, that's when they put in the first elevators. Right. Wow, look how big this room is. We are actually climbing up now. Yeah, I'm a little confused about that, I can tell you that much. I thought we were going continuously down, down, down until we hit the, the big room. Like got a little bit of upwards. We're in a much smaller room now. And yeah, heading to some tighter areas. We are getting close to the big room, I'm pretty sure. You keep saying that. I'm not sure how much I believe you anymore. Believe me. <laughs> Imagine getting stuck here, you know? Oh no, I wouldn't want to imagine it. <laughs> terrifying thought, isn't it? <laughs> the way these look, they call it sponge work, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sponge work, uh, most likely because this was close to the surface, and where I water and seawater mixed. No. Or it could have been formed by sulfuric, no, sulfuric acid. That as well. Interesting. Now, well, on we go. Wow, look how cool this area is. Looks like the desert, kind of. <laughs> yeah, or like a beach. It's flat here. That's the, or this is the only place I've seen so far where it is flat. Where it's what? Down here, where it's flat, yeah. Definitely not flat this way. <laughs> I can hear voices. We're getting close. Yeah, there's obviously somebody else in here with us now. Yeah, we're close to being back to some kind of civilization. <laughs> we're at the edge of the cavern, the big cavern now. And we're both going to go to the restroom. And this is the way, <laughs> this is the route to the restroom. I mean, how cool is this? Yep, and there they are. Nicole's already in the women's. Wow. Awesome. We're here in the big room now, just taking a look. We think we're heading toward the big room. <laughs> I think we're in it. Oh, you think? Yeah. Yeah, oh. It's just a big giant room. Oh, okay. I just expect it. I expected it um, to be more open for some reason. That's all. No. Nope. Should I video or should I? Yeah, I'll just do a little bit of video. How about that? Okay, Annie. Give I know. Some you video. Could, I know you could give a crap, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna walk. Oh, look at your gray hair walking across my screen. Oh, well, I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to show the viewers the big room. Look at the stalactites. Yeah, look, there's just this ladder here they say was made by Jim White. You remember me telling you about him? He was that 15, 16 year old kid that came down here. Yes, honey, I've read about him as well. Do you think he came down this far, though? I don't crazy know. They, thinking that he did because it is way down here. Is that just like a, a remake of what his ladder would have looked like? No, it says that's the actual that's ladder. That's the actual ladder? Yeah. Makes me want to think maybe he did. Well, I know he used it to go down into the yeah. uh, parts of the cavern, you know, at the entrance, but I can't imagine him coming all the way down here. It's far down here. 
Mm. I don't know, especially since he was a kid. You know how kids are. Kids are, you know, fearless. They don't think anything bad can happen to them. I guess. Hmm. That's hard to imagine. And, you know, he had to have some kind of lantern, lantern or something. And if that thing went out, kids screwed. <laughs> again. You know? Again, kids are fearless. Way down here, you'd never get back out. So this is the lower area of the cavern. That's way down there. Yeah, apparently you can uh, do a, a ranger guided tour into the into the lower cave. Wow. Yeah, it says there's a bunch of like um, steel steel ladders to get you down there. Huh. Wow. Yeah, this is huge. You notice this area, there aren't any stalactites. See that? I do see that. I do see that. So I, I guess that means that there, there aren't any uh, openings up there for the water to get through. I guess that's what that means. It looks like just rocks laying on the ground here. Mm -hmm. That is some sight there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Let me see if I can catch that in a picture. In a picture. Mm -hmm. Crystal Spring Dome. Sound Bell, that's what it's called. Oh, Crystal Spring Dome, I believe it's called. Okay. Now this one totally looks like Jabba the Hutt. This tail behind it. That's awesome. This one is called Rock of Ages. back into the cavern. All right, here's another shot of Rock of Ages. Oh, is that and, what this uh, one's called? Yeah, this is what this one's called. And you can really see the cavern that we just walked through while well, here. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It looks like something from a movie where you finally found the treasure room. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> With all the little treasures at the bottom. Yeah, and then you come over here, you can see the other side. We found the treasure room, honey. We're rich. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we wish. Look at this. It's a good vantage point. You can see everything really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big room. Good, good name for it. You know, that kid named it. He just called it the big room. That's why it's called to this day. Okay, I'm sure he was a really smart kid, but you're saying that like that just naming it the big room was genius. That's just obvious. I don't, I don't think he was that smart. <laughs> he was oh. just a kid. Just a kid. That's all he was. Got lucky. And you? Well, the wife just won't uh, wait for me. You gotta wait for me. Look at all this. Sorry, Pokey. I got a video of this. This is amazing. Whoa, see, this is where the water is, was, and is. There's still, yeah, there's water down here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, -hoo. wow. It makes me think that we're probably close to the bottom, maybe. Well, I don't know, I'm seeing it drip in, though, so this has, like, a direct uh, Except for those deep caverns that you have to. Uh, oh yeah, have oh, that's right. Rangers. The take lower you down. cabin. Yeah. Ca cabin. Yeah. The lower cave. I well, I don't know. Water. I guess guess because I saw like a larger amount of water all kind of puddled into this little like lake-looking yeah. thing. 
I bet that's that I bet that water is really pure. What do you think? Um, yeah, I don't know. know. Pure what? Pure H2O? Pure water. Yeah, pure H2O. I don't know. It keeps saying how it's mixing with sulfuric acid. and. Oh, well, maybe that's not good. <laughs> well, we have toured the big, the big room. We're back uh, to where the elevators and are we and the restrooms. We didn't cheat like the other people did. A lot of people just took the elevator down to this area yep. and just toured around. We, we hiked all the way down. And we then hiked all we the way down. To, it took us over an hour to hike down, and then we got to the big room. But you know what? I'm glad because I liked having that whole area to ourselves. That area was cool. Yeah. That was really cool. That's where it was the most dark. <laughs> well, we are going to get on the elevator. Yes, we are. Camera's struggling to uh, focus. There it goes. Anyway, we're going to go on the elevator, go to the surface. Yes, we are. Yeah, elevators. Normally there is an area where we can get snacks. Uh, it's right over there, but I guess not in the off season. No snacks for us, huh? Nobody told them we were coming? How I rude. guess so. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's get on the elevator. Okay, Dick. I'm sure glad we can take some elevators up top. I'd hate to have to walk there. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of suck. It would suck. So basically, this is a 70, 70 floor <laughs> elevator ride. Right, there we go. Is that what it said when you walked in? 70 floors? 75 stories. 75 stories, wow. Five it's not floors, though. No, this is feet. <laughs> 475. So 425 feet, and up we go. Into the gift shop. <laughs> right, we're out. Right into the room where they want us to spend more money. The gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, we're out of the cavern. I got a model here. There's the visitor center. And then you walk down the cavern here. Pretty cool map. 3D map, I guess you'd call it. That's where we just were. And then, of course, the elevator goes back to the top that we just took. Cool, huh? Mm hmm So anyway, uh, well, that's going to be the end of this video. Yeah. That's the end already? That's the end of this video. Uh, we are going to Midland, Texas next. All right. See you so, in Midland. Be looking for that.